so let us see this graphical question in this graphical question the initial position is 1 and the final position is C here but there are two paths that uh, here it is going in this direction also from A to B and B to C and in this direction also from A to D and D to C initial and final positions are going to be same in such cases internal energy is going to be constant that is DQ, du is going to be constant and you all know that dq is equal to du plus dw that means du du is going to be is equal to dq minus dw here internal energy along abc is equal in adc here du adc so let us take this as du1 which is equal to du2 here different paths here you can write uh, du is equal to dq minus dw so dq1 minus dw1 is equal to dq2 minus dw2 this is a shortcut method to solve the problem so if you remember this formula when internal energies are same you can solve the problem very easily now just substitute the values here dq1 is given and uh, dw1 is given dq2 is also given so this implies that we can write here dq1 is going to be 50 minus dw1 is going to be 20 is equal to dq2 which is going to be 36 minus dw2 so our aim is to find out dw2 therefore this is going to be 30 and uh, what is going to happen 36 minus 30 it is going to be 6 joules is going to be our answer that's it thank you very much can you solve this problem without pen and paper here there is a solution but can you solve this problem without any solution without pen and paper yes very easily so you have to find out the area of this graph that's it so because he's asking us to find out the work done you know work done is nothing but area that's it area of the graph you just do half into base into height that's it so what is half base means directly from here to here it is five units and height is how much here to here if you observe it is four units so two ones are two twos are four ten you are getting and you have to just uh, uh, convert this system that's it so ten is present here only so directly by using half into base into height you can solve without any conversions also you can provide the solution that's it you can just see you can just see the textbook solution given here okay so but what is the easiest method to solve this problem without all these nonsense concepts okay you just see here you all know work done because of adiabatic isochoric process is going to be zero so there is no work done because of this because it, volume is constant when there is no change in the volume no work done okay so delta v is zero means delta w is also zero because w is equal to p delta v when there is no change there is no work done so here for remaining things adiabatic isothermal and isobaric you have to see the area below the graph okay if you observe here area below adiabatic process is more okay let us create a shortcut for this problem which are going to solve here so you all know that for monoatomic molecule gamma is equal to 1 plus 2 by f okay so as gamma is equal to 1 plus 2 by f and degree of freedom is going to be 3 therefore gamma is equal to 1 plus 2 by 3 so gamma is equal to 5 by 3 so we got the value of gamma here but he's asking us to find out the ratio what is the ratio here ratio of work done to that of heat energy heat absorbed you know work done can be taken as rdt and uh, dq can be taken as cpdt okay cpdt so dt dt gets cancelled but you can also write cp as gamma r by gamma minus 1 so cp is equal to gamma r by gamma minus 1 therefore we can cancel out r here and finally there is a shortcut formula ready to solve here that is dw by dq is uh, nothing but gamma minus 1 by gamma and gamma we got 5 by 3 gamma we got 5 by 3 so we write 5 by 3 minus 1 by 5 by 3 so it is nothing but 2 by 3 by 5 by 3 so 3 3 gets cancelled so 2 by 5 is going to be our answer therefore the shortcut formula to solve these type of problems is this one okay see the textbook method which is very very large instead of that you can just apply this shortcut method you can get the answer in fraction of seconds thank you very much my dear students the above two conceptual questions the answer is adiabatic process just try to understand what is adiabatic process adiabatic process takes place in 
thermo flask in which hot water remains hot, hot only and cold water remains cold only so thermodynamic process is a process which takes place in a closed system and this is a sudden process like blasting of tire is a thermodynamic process and suddenly if a valve is opened then total uh, i mean total system is transferring the gas from one place to another place suddenly then also it is a thermodynamic process that's the reason why these two reasons there is closed system and sudden changes is the thermo i mean adiabatic process only